attached to the radio song with the balloon as a parachute because um, when this thing rises, it goes up to about 100,000 feet and uh, until it finally the balloon pops. Now the balloon will rise, uh, will expand out to about the size of a house. It'll pop, then the thing will come back down. And uh, depending on, most of our balloons come back down in the ocean because your prevailing winds at the upper atmosphere go from west to east. And uh, so our balloons go out over the ocean, pop, come down, and uh, eventually sink. Tonight when I send it up, everybody in the world, uh, across the country and other parts of the world, are sending theirs up. So the ones that are in the Midwest, when theirs come down, you know, in the upper atmosphere, it'll land in somebody's yard, whatever, where ours go out over the ocean. The balloon carries a small battery-powered instrument package. This is the battery, and to activate it, you got to put it in the water. So we put it right here in the in this water. We've got filled up here. This instrument package will transmit weather data as it rises from the ground to as high as 100,000 feet. Once the instrument is prepared and activated, it's moved to a test bench to make sure it's working properly before launch. Once the instrument is certified good, it's ready to be launched along with hundreds of others from locations around the world. It's ready to go to find out what's upstairs so we can forecast what's downstairs. Okay. All right, we're going to attach it to the iron here, and then I'm going to tie a knot in it. And uh, tonight's a nice night, so it shouldn't be, uh, it should be very easy launch. Usually on windy days, it gets a little bit dicey. You've got electrical wires and all sorts of things over there, but tonight it should rise up pretty good. Again, it rises about a thousand feet a minute, so uh, it should clear that tower with no problem. As soon as the instrument is launched, it begins transmitting weather data, along with its altitude and position, back to computers at the weather service. Again, this is about a minute and a half back. 316 and 33, but that was about a minute and a half ago. This line right here to the right uh, basically shows how the temperature is as you go up in the atmosphere. And over here you can see how the wind changes as you go up. Notice how it generally increases in speed. Uh, despite all the new technology between satellites, computer models, and other ground equipment, um, it's the old-fashioned weather balloon system that still provides us with a lot of the information that we need um, to make accurate forecasts and warnings.